In Vietnam, United States forces used the UH-1 Iroquois for various missions but requested a dedicated attack platform. UH-1 variants acted as gunships and were known as Huey Hogs. The versatile UH-1 Huey helicopter was first deployed to Vietnam as a medevac platform in 1962, but it soon became apparent that it was capable of much more. The Huey revolutionized modern combat by providing critical mobility. The helicopter made it possible to land troops behind enemy lines, changing warfare forever. To protect troops during insertion, the world's first operational helicopter gunships were created using UH-1 Huey helicopters as a foundation. Most dedicated Huey gunships were Bravo, Charlie, or Mike model aircraft. These machines sported the early stubby fuselage architecture. Delta and hotel models had a stretched fuselage optimized for carrying troops and cargo. The primary differences among the three variants were in the engines and powertrains. Charlie and Mike model Hueys featured a wide cord rotor system and redesigned tail boom to help manage the extra weight of the ordnance they carried. In Vietnam, these heavily armed aircraft were called hogs. Of the 16,000 Hueys produced since 1956, roughly 1,000 of them were used as gunships. These early pioneers figured it out as they went along, so there was a great deal of variation concerning weapons, equipment, and fire control systems. However, the archetype was the UH-1M Heavy Scout. The UH-1M model Heavy Scout sported four 7.62 by 51mm M 60CA1 machine guns mounted in pairs on each side of the aircraft in an XM-16 mount. These guns were fired remotely via solenoids and pivoted to allow the pilot to control elevation. The guns fed from big ammo cans mounted in the crew compartment via flexible ammo chutes. Alongside these guns was typically one M157 7-shot rocket pod on each side. There were 19-shot pods available as well, but these early Hueys typically lacked the horsepower to lift them. The 2.75-inch FFAR, folding fin aerial rocket, was originally called the Tomighty Mouse. These unguided rockets could carry a variety of warheads. A typical 2.75-inch rocket was 4 feet long, weighed about 20 pounds, and packed a roughly 6-pound he warhead. These rockets could also carry a white phosphorus payload for incendiary or marking purposes. Anti-tank variants had both high-explosive anti-tank and high-explosive dual-purpose effects. Additionally, these rockets could fire flechette warheads that packed thousands of little pressed steel darts. Flechettes were called nails in military parlance, and they were extra special nasty. The WDU-4 slasher warheads that carried them each packed 2,200 darts that weighed 20 grains apiece. These rockets could be programmed to fly a certain distance and then explode, sending a dense cloud of pointy steel chaos to saturate a target area. When the flechette rounds detonated they gave off a distinctive puff of red smoke. The heavy hog also frequently mounted a 40mm automatic grenade launcher in the nose. The Mini Hog sported an XM21 armament subsystem. This loadout included the same 7 shot rocket pods as the XM16 but substituted a single M134 minigun on each side in place of the paired M60s. Each of these armament subsystems rode on the XM156 multi armament pylon mount. This mount was slaved to an XM60 reflex sight that allowed the pilot in command to direct and elevate the weapons in flight. This sight rode on a folding mount that collapsed out of the way when not in use. The development of the B, C, and M model Huey gunships led to the creation of the AH-1G Cobra, the world's first effective mass-produced dedicated attack helicopter. Once obsolete, these old Huey gunships were seconded to National Guard units, gifted to civilian government agencies, or simply scrapped. Back in the 1990s, there were a couple of these old M model Hueys on the flight line at Hanchi Army Heliport at Fort Rucker. Huey gunships have seen action in brushfire wars worldwide, 
particularly in El Salvador back in the 1980s. Those early Huey gunships helped write the book on attack helicopter operations. For American troops in contact in Vietnam, the arrival of the Hogs quite frequently carried the day. 